Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I'm Nicole Chantel. And if you like beauty videos, 31 days of Halloween, and Friday vlogs, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a part of my makeup family. With all that being said, let's jump right into this video. So today I'm going to be showing you how I created this eye look and swatches and review on the new Kat Von D Lolita palette. I was so super excited when I went into store on Monday and they had this palette in there. I was like, yes please, I will take two, one for me, one for my daughter Brooklyn. She's not going to be watching this. I got it for her for Christmas, so she's going to be totally surprised because she loves Kat Von D products. But the only other Kat Von D eyeshadow palette I own is the shade and light eyeshadow palette, whatever it's called. I use it once in a while, but I normally don't gravitate towards her eyeshadow palettes because they're really bold, really beautiful. I have to say they are gorgeous, but this one here just spoke my name when I seen the tones because I'm all about the plum shades and the matte shades. And when I seen this, I was like, okay, I need to have it. I want to try it. I will be showing you swatches. I'm going to be popping up the names of the eyeshadows because I can't say them. The only one I could say is Lolita, and I'm not going to butcher them. And then I will be going in and showing you how I created this look with this palette. And at the end of this video, I will be giving you my final thoughts on the Kat Von D Lolita palette. So I am going to go in with the lightest shade from this palette and I already primed my eyes with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Everything that will be on my face I will have it listed down below for you guys. And I'm just taking my MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to dust this all over my lid. Now the next shade I'm going to go in, it's a bit of a darker shade and I'm just going to pop this into my crease and I'm using the Morphe M560 brush. And I'm just going to like line that right into my crease and then I'm going to blend it out. Don't mind if it looks a little bit messy right now, but that's okay. So I'm going to go back in with that first shade again with my MAC 224 brush and I'm just going to blend that right on top of this shade right here. The two of them blend it really, really nice together. Now I'm just going to bring it down here a little tiny bit and just bring it onto the lid. So far really pretty and so far no fallout, which I'm super impressed with because I have my foundation already done on my concealer, which I never do. I always do my eyeshadow, then my full face of foundation and concealer. But today I said, no, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And so far, there's absolutely no fallout. These two shades so far are blending really, really well. Very, very beautiful for matte eyeshadows. Now, just to deepen up the outer part of my eye, I am going to go in with my MAC 272 brush. And I just picked up a little bit of product that's like a lot, really pigmented. And I'm just going to pack that right onto the outer part of my eye and just work that just a little tiny bit into the inner, inner corner, I was about to say, into my crease. That is a really beautiful, beautiful shade. Now, I was going to bring a bit of the darker shades here onto the inner part of my eye, but I kind of like this look that I'm creating so far. So I think I'm just going to apply another shadow here on my lid. And I kind of want to go in with this shade right here. And I am taking my MAC 248 brush, and I'm just going to apply that right onto my lid. So I'm going to go back in with that dark shade again. I'm just going to build it up a little bit more. So far, as you could tell, when I dipped it in the two times that I've used this shade, just look at the indent. As you could tell, there is a little tiny bit of kickback. Okay with that because it is super pigmented. It's blending really, really well. And I just like how like all the colors are just mashing together. There's no muddiness. I'm just really, really loving this look so far. And if you're wondering what I'm using to clean my brushes, I am using the Sephora Color Switch. Just take my brushes in, swirling it, and it takes off the shadow. If you guys don't have that, you need it in your life because it is amazing. The next shade that I am going to go in with, I know how to pronounce, and it's Lolita. <laughs> I am going to go in with my Morphe 
M56 brush and I'm just picking up a small amount of product and I'm just going to bring this down to my lower lash line and I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of smoke it out a little bit and then bring it up and kind of mesh those colors together. Now I'm going to go back in with that light shade again, the first shade in the palette. And I'm taking my MAC 248 brush and I just feel like this needs to be a little bit lighter here in the center of my eye. So I'm just going to pack that on there. I'll have to say, I don't know if you guys could see it here on camera, but Lolita, there is a little tiny bit of fallout, but not too much. So that's okay, it's just a little tiny bit, but it is really super pigmented. Now I know I said I wasn't going to go for a real dark look, but I want to use all the shades in this palette because it's just so beautiful. So I am going to go in with the last shade, just picked up a little tiny bit, and I'm just going to apply it right here on the outer part of my eye and just build it up. Now I'm gonna go with this shade here and I'm just going to apply it right on top of Lolita and just bring it in to the top shades. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go off camera and I'm gonna finish the other eye, pop on some lipstick, maybe lashes. I'm not sure yet if I'm just gonna do mascara or lashes, but we'll see when I come back. So here we go, here is the whole look completed. I didn't go in with lashes after because I wanted you guys to see how the shadows look and how beautiful they are. They blended so nice, there's no muddiness. The colors are gorgeous. So just to let you know, I did go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Primer. If you guys have small lashes like me, you need this lash primer in your life because it makes such a big difference. Then I went in with my Holy Grail of Mascaras, the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then just to finish off the look, I did combine my two favorite lip products right now, which I cannot stop wearing, which is the Juicy Couture Lipstick in Happily Ever After, topped off with uh, Fenty's Beauty Diamond Milk. Love these two together. And I feel like it just brings this whole look together. I absolutely love it. I'm to show you what the eyeshadow palette looks like up close after using it. As you could tell, these two darker shades, there is quite a little dent um, and a little bit of like kickback, but that was only with these two shades. The other shades are really, really nice. I really enjoyed this palette. I think this palette's really gorgeous. I don't mind this little bit of kickback because the color payoff was beautiful and they blend really nice. So you guys, my final thoughts on the Kat Von D Lolita palette. I absolutely love it. If you love matte eyeshadows and you want a great matte eyeshadow that blend really nice, that won't become muddy with other matte eyeshadows, this is the palette for you. And especially if you're into these plummy tones, I think this is so gorgeous. I love this look that I created. I think it's so beautiful. A little tiny bit of fallout with Lolita, but I didn't mind that. I just dusted it off my face and I was good to go. I didn't mind it for the simple fact because it is really pigmented. Really, really love this palette. Love the pigmentation, love the quality, love the packaging. You all know that it is, of course, vegan and it does retail for $47, that is Canadian dollars, and this is limited edition. So if you are really into matte tones and just plum tones, I definitely recommend that you pick this up while you can, while it's still available. So you guys, that's it for this eyeshadow tutorial and review on the Kat Von D Lolita palette, which I'm totally obsessing over. I just need a whole bunch of matte shadows in my life, a whole bunch of purple shadows, pink shadows, plum shadows. I just need a lot of them in my life. I just, I'm totally obsessed with those tones. Let me know in the comments down below if you have this palette. What do you think of it? Do you love it? Are you on the fence? Personally, I'm not on no offense because I just love it. <laughs> and let me know also what is your favorite like plummy tone shadows. Let me know in those comments down below. Really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.